Hello, hello, hello. This is Els Committee from Bemis Crafty Corner, and today I have a little project for us. Um, this is a tag ephemera clutch, okay? So this can be put into a journal. You could sew it in right here if you want it to, uh, or it can be a standalone piece. So basically what it is, is kind of a foldy, 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 okay? So, um, let's kind of break it down from the front. So on the front, uh, the purpose of this, of course, was to use up, not scraps, not scraps, leftovers of some Graphic 45. Uh, this is the Midnight Masquerade. And I had this left over from when I made the little books. I had some large cuts left. So I decided I was going to do something with that. So I came up with this and I had a few pieces left of the chipboard embellishments. So I figured why not use them? So here's what I have. So it starts off, it's a little clutch, like a little, kind of looks like a little purse, doesn't it? Okay, uh, so you open it up and inside here is one of the graphic 45 chipboard pockets with one of the little journaling cards. Now I left this part blank because it's the fold over, okay? So then we come out in here, we have the first pocket and in the pocket we have one of the journaling cards from the set. And we just have that set into a, a little pocket here at the bottom. And then we made another pocket, another journaling card here, just using a little piece of the paper and a piece of the detail piece. Uh, and just an index card. And then we have a little pocket over here that has two of the little tags in it. And we have a little pocket down here that has another one of those chipboard pieces that we had left over in it. And then on the back, we have another pocket and another piece of the journaling cards. Okay, that's the back fully decorated. The only part I didn't decorate was this part back here. Uh, it was just a matter of choice. I just didn't want to add any more bulk to the item. So this is what we're going to make today. And I'll be right back to get you a supply list on this one. And we'll get started with some measurements. Okay, okay, supplies, supplies, supplies. Here's what we're going to need. Uh, we're going to need a paper trimmer. We're going to need a scoreboard. Uh, you're going to want some double-sided sticky tape, most likely. You're going to need some glue, a circle punch, one inch, one and a half, two inch, whatever it is that you use to put your notches in, a pair of scissors, a bone folder, your scoring tool, a pencil, and a ruler. Okay, you're going to want some okay. scrapbook paper. Two or three sheets that blend together should do this. So if you have a pad that's got a few, you know, four or five sheets left in it, this is the uh, project for that. Okay. You're going to want two sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock. You must have at least one. Okay. Because the first piece that we're going to cut, we need that 12 inch. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut some pieces. The first piece we're going to cut is eight inches by 12. The second one is seven and three quarters by eight. Then we're going to cut a strip that is two and three quarters across by eight inches. And then we're going to cut two pieces that are three and seven eighths by four inches. Okay. So let's talk about the first one. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the 12 inch side of our cardstock into our scoreboard. We're going to mark the first one at two and seven eighths. That is the first notch before the three. Then we're going to mark it at seven. And then we're going to score again at 11. Okay. Then we're going to take our piece of seven and seven, uh, seven and three quarters by eight. And we're going to put it in on the seven and three quarter size. And one notch before the four, we're going to score. Okay. Then we're going to turn this. And we're going to come right to the four and we're going to mark about a half an inch in. No further than that. Just about a half an inch. And then we're going to take this, turn it over, and we're going to come in a half an inch. And we're going to score down to that half inch score line. Because we're going to get rid of this piece, okay? Now, if you want to assemble, you're going to turn your pieces so that your little L piece is facing down and your one inch strip is on the right 
and we're going to use some double-sided tape in here. I'm going to simply put this in on my one inch flap. I'm using three quarter inch tape here. I'm going to press it down. Remove it, expose my tape, and then I'm going to take this part, which is my flap that would be in, and with the straight edge, I'm going to bring it right up to my score line, making sure it's nice and even, and I'm going to press it down. Now, if it's an outside edge or it's a fold, ink it, okay? Ink your pockets, all three of those, and then we're going to talk about uh, the mats for this. So let me get those out real quick. Get this out of my way. Okay, so for the pockets for this, there's going to be four pockets, four mats that are three and three quarters by seven and three quarters. There is going to be two pieces that are three and a half by seven and a half. And on one of these, we're going to do something a little bit different, okay? We have to have this piece fit on this pocket. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold this in half, just lightly. We don't want to fold it all the way down. And on the top, we're just going to put a little crease in it. And then we're going to come in with our ruler and we're going to put in a line at about three quarters of an inch here and here. Draw a line and just cut that off down to that center point. Okay? And that's going to give you that piece that's going to fit on there. Now, if you have a different way of doing it, you do you, boo. Okay? It works for me this way. All right. We have to have two pockets. And those two pockets are going to be uh, three and a half by three and three quarters. You're going to have one pocket on the back. So you need one piece that is two and a half by seven and a half. You are going to have a small piece for the flap on the front that is going to be uh, one and a half by seven and a half. Then you're going to have one scrap, and this needs to be at least one and a half inches deep by three and a half inches wide. And this is gonna be the piece that's gonna fit in here, okay? So that piece, and then if you want, to put paper here. I didn't do that in the original. In the original, I just added some pockets here, some decorations. But if you want to put backing here, then this piece is seven and a half inches by two and a half, okay? Now, ink time. If you're using scrapbook paper, you'll have that white core. So just go ahead and ink all of your pieces. I didn't have to do mine too deeply because, well, they're black. Um, so ink all of these, ink this, ink your pocket pieces, and I'll be back to show you how to mat, mat all this out and assemble. So let's start putting this together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to deal with this pocket on the end. That is the L-shaped weird pocket. So we're going to get our piece out for that. And this piece just kind of gets glued on to here. So you may want to do some fine tuning on this. Uh, as far as the dimensions for this particular pocket, depending upon, you know, how you cut it and what your tastes are. So that's on you. Like I said, you do you, boo. Um, but I'm going to put this pocket down first. And the reason that I'm putting it down first is because this pocket has to have some holes punched in it. Now, that little extra optional scrap there that we got, yeah, we're going to put that piece in. And that piece goes under here. So we're going to kind of get an idea of where we want this to be. Uh huh. See? Okay. Now that we have that, 
this is going to be a top load pocket. This is going to be a side load pocket. So let's put some holes in. Now, if you're using these from the paper studio, they have the little marks on the side that tell you where the halfway point is. So put it into the halfway point, get it where you want it to be, punch a half hole. And do the same thing on this part. Okay, so at this point, it should look like you have this, you have two holes here, a little jag, and your little pocket. So we're going to go down here and across. So down the outside edge and across, and then down the across the outside edge here, because you're creating two pockets, one here and one here. Glue this down. Hold it for a second so it dries. Then we're going to fold that part in. Okay, and we're going to mount up this part in the back. And basically at this point what you're going to do is you're going to take these, which are your larger three and three quarter by seven and three quarter pieces, and decide, you know, kind of where you want to put them. Yep, I'm here. I'm going to go like that. Yep, I'm here. I'm going to go this way and have this come down, and then I'm going to have a black piece there. I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a black one on the back, okay? So you just kind of rough this out where you want it. All right, so the next part is putting this pocket on. So I'm going to take my pocket that I've already inked, and I'm going to be using glue because I never use tape on a pocket. And I'm going to just be lining this up and putting it down, and then I'm going to... Now we have to do our pockets here. So we're just going to grab our little pockets here. And we're just going to dry fit to make sure that we have these in the right direction. to mat these. And these should fit right between our lines. So what we're going to do is on the top of them, we're going to go ahead and pop a little hole if you want. If you don't want to, you don't have to. This is entirely up to you. It's just a personal choice. I am going to ink a little bit in there on both of those because I've inked everything else. And then I'm going to put these pockets down. Now, again, because they're pockets, I will not use tape. I'm going to glue these in. So I'm just going to put some glue across the bottom and up the sides. And I'm going to go ahead and put the pockets in. There and there.
right. So now the only part we have left when we fold this up is this piece right here. And I am going to be using a piece of this paper to do that. And again, because this is just a mat, I'm going to go ahead and use some tape. And then we're going to talk about the top piece. And on the top piece here, all we're doing is just mounting a piece, a mat right here. So I'm just going to use some tape on this as well. And at this point, I'm just going to make sure that this and this line up. All right. Now, we did do the optional piece to put on the back. If you want to do the piece on the back, again, this is just a quick... glue up. You know, people ask me why I use this little tape runner. Um, they're like, you could get an ATG gun. I could, but I've had one and I don't like them. I used to have one when I made cards and I did not like it. One, in my opinion, it wasted a lot of tape. Two, I just couldn't be accurate with it. Just didn't give me the accuracy I wanted. Okay, so at this point, we have a pocket here that comes from the top. Let me get a piece of card so we can see this. So we have a top load pocket here that goes about halfway down the page. We have a side load pocket here. We have a nice deep pocket here, a pocket here, and this really wide pocket here on the side. You could add another pocket to the back if you want to here or here. We have our flap that comes over. Now, if you want it to, underneath this piece of paper, you could put a piece of ribbon and glue that in so that you could have a tie on the front of this. Or you can use a Velcro sticky dot here if you want. It is entirely up to you how you want to seal this. If you want to seal it at all, uh, you could put a magnet in here if you wanted to put a magnet closure in. It's entirely up to you. This would be your line if you wanted to put this within uh, a journal and you wanted to stitch it in as a signature. And of course, then it would open and open and open and you would have all of your tags there for journaling. That's it. The only thing left to do is to make tags to put in here. And I'm going to go ahead and get that done and I'll be right back to show you the finish. On the one that we've done, <clears throat> I went ahead and just took a... Uh, a little flower here and I just inked it a little bit with some ink and added a butterfly to this little piece that I put here in the front and I'm using a paper clip as a closure and when I open this up we'll go ahead and start with the very inside I just put a little bit of a book plate here with a cabochon that just says always and I just have a tag here with some seam tape and then I took a little bit of the seam tape and I added it to the top of this little journaling card that I made just by matting a piece of the cardstock. And I added a little sticker here at the corner. And we have this pocket here. And on this one, I did the same thing. It's just a piece of cardstock with a piece of the leftover paper mounted onto it. And I just stapled on a piece of seam binding. And then added a little piece of ephemera to the front. And then we have a little pocket over here. Uh, with this little tag, again, it's just the cardstock and some of the paper scrap with a little sticker. Fits right down into that pocket. And then on the outside, uh, I made this larger journaling card that goes in here. And I used some washi tape and some bling and added a border to the top. 
and that fits in there very nicely. And that's it. Just a little paper clip to close it, and that's the end of that one. So, again, all of the directions for this will be in the instructions below, in the box below. If you have any questions, of course, put them in the questions in the comment section, and I'll be happy to answer them. Until the next time I see you guys, if you haven't done so already, hit the red button for me and subscribe. Like me, ring my bell, and share me with all your friends. Bye-bye. Thank you.